This is Crin Sharp Riggs and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede. Talk a little bit about D Hop and talk about a little bit about the wide receivers in this division as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I'll just start with DeAndre Hopkins to Tennessee. I think that's a, a rock star signing for the Titans. I think they actually got him on a really good value when you're talking about a ball winning number one receiver in the NFL. This is a guy, and I know people talk about Hopkins aging, but I think this is still probably like at worst, this is a top 20 receiver in the NFL right now. I think there's lots of good arguments that he's better than that. Like you could make top 12, top 15 arguments for DeAndre Hopkins. And he fits both of their timelines. This is a team that, I mean, they've got the defense and like kind of small offensive pieces like a Derrick Henry, like a Tannehill's, like a Tannehill was at the end of his career that says, okay, we can win now. We've won a lot of games previously. There's not a huge reason to take a step back. I think DeAndre Hopkins fits that timeline to say, can I take this offense to a different level? Can you get some looks for Traylon Burks that you might not have gotten otherwise? Really explosive player coming out of Arkansas. Um, that I think will be better as a sophomore than he was last season. But at the same time, if everything goes to hell for Tennessee, and this is one of the reasons that I I personally advocate that Houston should be chasing him, I think Hopkins is a great kind of the, the way I've tweeted it, and people have gotten mad at me, kind of an easy button for the offense, something that you can, someone you can put out there and say, I know you can win on X, Y, and Z routes um, on a third and eight we know we can get that at least once a game because we're just going to put you in this situation. And, and having a player that a young quarterback can trust to lean on, um, I think is really important just in terms of how you're going to extend drives, how you're going to build confidence, and how you're going to create looks for other people as you bring someone along in that development. So whether it's Will Levis in a meaningless season or Ryan Tannehill as they try to compete in the AFC, I thought that was a great signing for D-Hop. And in terms of you talked about the division, the AFC South, um, unfortunately, I, I do feel like this puts the Texans um, a tier above the other teams in the division. They don't have a true number one. We talked about, or I talked about having, you know, you can put D hop out there and ask him to go win on certain rounds. I feel the same way about a Michael Pittman. I feel the same way about a Calvin Ridley or some of the looks that they were able to draw up last season for a Christian Kirk or an Evan Ingram. Um, and then when you look at our receivers, I, I think there's room. It doesn't mean that Houston's passing game is doomed. I don't think it doesn't mean someone could emerge. Could you see a Nico Collins emerge at the X? Could a Tank Dell, albeit I think you have to have Tank in motion, could he prove to be lethal in that role in this offense? I think that's possible, absolutely. Um, and if you do, everything starts to fall into place because I think you've got some good space finders in Robert Woods and Dalton Schultz. But I think it places uh, Houston in the division trying to figure out how can we be explosive as these other teams. Okay. VT, um, you know, you made your quite share of videos on D Hop. <laughs> <laughs> um, explain to everybody what do you think about this sign in and what do you think um, he's going to bring to Tennessee? In the arms of the Start second. All right. So basically, the reason why I made that uh, Sarah McLaughlin video is not necessarily just because of D Hop. Um, I think Tennessee, you know, Tennessee has a history of trying to quote unquote take our sloppy seconds. And uh, and excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Here's the thing. The bottom line is that their line is horrible. They have they had one of the worst lines in pass protection last year. Um, and if you can't get the ball to D Hop, what are you actually doing with any receiver, right? The, the the last year Tannehill got hurt because their line was horrible. Um, you saw what happened to Derrick Henry. He had more fumbles um, than any other running back in the league because their line. Um, 
I think what's going to happen is that D-Hop is going to get his at least 700 yards, four or five touchdowns. But I'm not seeing him to be strong. Why? Because it's based on the line, honestly. It's not necessarily just because of D-Hop. It is the line. And that's why I think that D-Hop is going to go there. And I think, listen, there's a reason why there's only three teams considering him. When he was on the free market, I thought he was going to get 15 offers, to tell you the truth. Because who wouldn't want D-Hop? But there's a reason why three teams... Uh, we're talking about him and only two gave them offers. So there's something going on where teams didn't want him. Um, I think that he, he ha didn't have a choice. He went to Titans and Bob and, and honestly 12 to 13 million for someone that was getting paid more than double that just a year prior. I am not thinking that he is going to be the star that uh, Titans fans think he is going to be. I, I think he's going to get 700 yards. I think he's going to have four or five TDs. But that's about it. Dude. I agree that offensive line is going to be a big problem for any anything that Tennessee wants to do this season. And it's not something anyone's really talking about. You not really in touch if you not tuning in. This is Crin Sharp Briggs and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street, cause them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede.